Hi guys, it's Shalini and welcome back to my channel. So my previous video was all about glam makeup transformation and in today's video, I bring you no makeup makeup look for work from home quarantine edition or lockdown edition. Many of you might have this question right now that why do you need makeup at home? When you are at home, who will do makeup? I know that. So if you have to do makeup at home and you don't have to do makeup, it's okay. You be you, you do you girl. But if you are looking for no makeup makeup look and if you want to know that how you can enhance the best feature that you already have using makeup i'm not going to use any foundation i'm going to be using concealer though then this video is for you guys and no makeup makeup look is all about enhancing the best feature that you already got using minimum and less product. In fact, the quarantine ka time jab khatam ho jayega, iske baad bhi aap ye wala makeup apne office ke liye, college ke liye kar sakte ho. Now, without further ado, let's begin with today's video. This is gonna be fun. The best thing about today's video is that I'm gonna also talk about skincare. Skin prepping is very very important to make your makeup last longer and to look good on your face. So I've already washed my face and now I'm gonna apply some lip balm all over my lips. This is Baby Lips Lip Balm by Maybelline New York and this is in the flavor Watermelon. And after that I'm gonna use Calendula Face Shop Moisturizer. This moisturizer is amazing, good for sensitive skin and I have very extremely sensitive skin and acne prone skin so i'm going to take generous amount of it and apply that all over my face i'm going to let this sink in with my skin for up to two minutes or so and then i'm going to apply this sunscreen so this sunscreen has this khasiat that this is non-communogenic sunscreen good for sensitive skin and also this is a oil-free sunscreen so ye ek primer ki tarah bhi kaam karega mere face pe and this is going to protect my skin for up to two or three hours straight because this has spf 30 in it this was a recommendation by my dermatologist and now I'm going to start with the makeup. So here are two concealer shades that I'm going to show you first of all. First concealer is a lighter shade concealer. This is the one that I like to use to highlight under my eyes. And second concealer is a perfect match for my skin tone. And I'm going to use the concealer which matches my skin tone perfectly to avoid any grey patches, any ashiness on my face. And that is what you really want to do. Choose a concealer that matches your skin tone perfectly. So this is Maybelline Age Divine Concealer in the shade Caramel. I'm only going to use the concealer on the places where I really want to hide any dark spots any pigmentation that i have and also to conceal my under eye dark circles so i'm applying that under my eyes over my eyelid and on the places where i have any acne marks any acne spots i'm not like lathering this concealer all over my face like a foundation after applying the concealer i'm going to blend it using my fingers of course to get maximum coverage out of the concealer now using some translucent powder I'm going to set my under eye area and also my t-zone area. My t-zone area tends to get very oily in the end of the day. It is going to get oily, yes, uh, if I will wear this makeup for more than 6 hours straight or something like that. But we can delay the process by setting that area. It's time to do my eyebrows and here I'm showing you two different products that I have which does the same job but the difference is the color. So this one is by Miniso. The color is called Dark Coffee and it is a beautiful dark coffee color but for everyday wear I won't use a eyebrow pencil which doesn't really match with my eyebrow hair you know. So the other one is Maybelline New York Duo Shaper and this is in the shade brown. This is a very good match for my eyebrow hair color and this is what I'm going to use today. So after pushing my eyebrows in the upper direction it's like combing my eyebrows in the upper direction i'm going to start filling up my eyebrows filling up the sparse areas i'm not going crazy with the eyebrows today i really want them to look like natural i am not going for a bushy eyebrow wala look i just want to fill up the sparse area and that's it after filling up the eyebrows, the next thing is setting the eyebrows on place. This is one step which I would highly recommend you to do that so that the eyebrows won't move at all throughout the day and they will be intact at one place. So for that, I can use brow gel but I don't have brow gel. I do have old mascara wand. This is by Maybelline. The bristles are not closely packed so this is good for setting up your eyebrows on place and this mascara is like dried up mascara. Thoda bahut product reh gaya isme. And this is a waterproof mascara. So I'm pushing my eyebrows in the upper direction and I'm setting my eyebrows on place. It's time for the eye makeup. Many of us really love to wear kajal every single day. But today we are not going to use kajal. Yes. Instead I'm going to use a dark brown color. Here I'm using a contour color from this face palette by Makeup Revolution. Or also you can use a dark brown eyeshadow from your eyeshadow palette in a flat smudger brush and I'm placing that color in the area where I would usually place my eyeliner or kajal. And after that I'm going to smudge up the edges using my teeny tiny pinky finger. 
and now I'm going to define my lower lash line using that same smudger brush and that same color and I'm going all in with this color guys and smudger brush also here I'm not using any kajal so you really don't have to be careful ki kitna lagaya hai kajal aur kahan smudge ho raha hai kajal you have to go all in trust me and it looks very very beautiful it, it gives you that smudgy smoky eye look like faded eye look and now comes the most interesting part for this video. I'm gonna contour my nose using leftover product on my smudger brush. I'm defining my nose using that product first and I'm blending it with the help of my fingers. This is gonna make the huge difference for the entire no makeup makeup look. You will see in the end. And here is a little secret guys. While contouring your nose, you want to add some extra product on the root of your nose. You know that area between your eye and the bridge of your nose, you know, yeah. It's time to apply mascara. I'm using water resistant mascara and you want to choose a mascara which is like voluminizing mascara and this one is a really good mascara by Maybelline New York. I'm coating my upper lashes and my lower lashes using this mascara. Okay, now I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. This is one step which I would highly recommend you to do. So this is going to change the game for no makeup makeup look for sure. I'm using this champagne color from the Makeup Revolution palette and I'm using a pencil brush to highlight my inner corners and also my brow bones, bridge of my nose and tip of my nose. This is going to widely open up my eyes, give the illusion of a bigger eyes and also I've been very very careful and I've used a very minimum highlighting product on my face and this is still going to make a difference. It's time for blush. I love to apply blush for no makeup makeup looks. I think it makes you look so wide awake. It makes you look so fresh. So I'm a blush girl, yes. So here I'm using combination of two different blush today. One is a matte, very beautiful peachy color. This is by LA Girl. And another one has some sheen or shine to it. This is a wine color. And first I'm going to apply the blush on my cheeks. I'm not smiling at all. And then I'm going to drag the product on my cheekbones, kind of contouring my face. And I'm using more blush than usual because blush is the first product that feeds away from your face. So you want to apply more than usual. So ek side ko cover karne ke baad, I'm going to cover the next side of my face. And also I'm going to apply the blush on my chin and also on my nose. Yes, I should feel like you have a but you don't have a But it feels like you have a blush. And now the makeup is almost done. I have already some lip balm on my lips. That was a tinted lip balm. If you are comfortable with lip balm and you don't want to apply any lipstick, you can just go with the lip balm and you're good to go. But today I'm going to apply a combination of lip liner and lipstick. So this lip liner is Tefita Terracotta by Sugar Cosmetics. And I'm going to outline my lips first and I'm going to fill up my lips using this lip liner. And uske upar, I'm going to top up with this Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade 58. And that completes the entire look. This look is so fresh and beautiful, perfect for daytime wear and for the people who really don't want to wear too much makeup on their face. Kaisa laga ye wala makeup tutorial? This is so easy to recreate guys. This is hardly gonna take 5 minutes of your time to do this look on your face. This is so lightweight this makeup look is. Or in the end of the day, isko nikalna bhi kafi easy because we are not using heavy products on our face. We are not using waterproof mascara. We are not using dheet wale kajal jisko nikalna bhoat mushkil ho jata hai. Jab ab thak jate ho pure din bhar kaam karne ke baad tab aapko lagta hai ki oh my god that mascara, that kajal is taking so much of your time to remove that kajal mascara you know so if you like this video and if you want to see more of such content from my channel please take a moment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like this video comment in this video share this video with your friends and family everyone who is working from home and i'll see you all next time with brand new content for this channel